All right, all right. Why are the people on Twitter, why is NBA Twitter really hopping on the Celtics and five bandwagon? I really just don't get it. I don't get it yet. So last night, it it was not a good performance by the Warriors. It was it was not good at all. It was a downright terrible performance, if I do say so myself. The first half, eh, I'd say the third quarter, they got it together. Curry was doing Curry things. They just don't have a big who can rebound, which we'll get into that later. But it was all bad. Let's start off this by a tweet. Isaiah Thomas after the game. When you play 34 minutes, you have four rebounds, three assists, and two points. Draymond Green does that in a grade school game, not in the NBA Finals. He has lost focus in t- in terms of concentrating on beating the opponent, which I can't say he's wrong. Like, that's four rebounds, three assists, two points. Like, come on. That's amateur numbers. My boy Kevin Looney I th- had matched you on rebounds. Or, no, he probably had even more. I guarantee he probably had more points than you. And he played like, maybe 12, 15 minutes. That's... Here, let's just jump right into that. I think they shouldn't be playing Draymond Green as much and play Kevin Looney more. Now, I get he may be a liability against Al Horford, whatever. I still think he'd do a better job than Draymond Green did. He'll be there for rebounds. He can get it, kick out. You don't have to have Kevin Looney clog up the paint if you want to run five out. Just have him stay in, like, have him stay in the short porch or something. Like it's It's all bad. That's all bad. Bar, a tweet by Barstool Sports. We really went from Draymond's in the Celtics' head to please be nice to Draymond and don't chant mean things about him within 72 hours. This I find kind of funny. I'm not even going to lie. Draymond's known for being one of the toughest guys in the league and he's taking offense to what the Boston fans are saying. Draymond's wife on, Insta- on Instagram and on her story posted this. It's a long one, so. Tough loss tonight, but in no way, shape, or form should fans be allowed to chant obscenities at players. Are they not human? If someone's standing at your job saying off-the-wall things to you, the at NBA has the audacity to have the whole code of conduct card at every seat before fans and their behavior, and how they could be ejected from a game or banned, but a whole crowd slash section slash numerous people get to chant F.U. Draymond? At money two, two three green, or call him a b word, or mf, and nothing. Like that's ev- that, that's okay. At Warriors fans would never. Which we'll get to that in a minute. My kids were at the game tonight, hearing that mess. Very disgusting of you, little at Celtics fans. Just shameful. So that's uh, that's fair. That's fair, but it's also completely wrong. Players should no. Let see. This is a tough. This is a slippery slope. If you do, if I do say so myself. When she says Warriors fans would never, I just like to look back on the one clip of LeBron James when Celt when Warriors fans are just obs- throwing obscenities at LeBron. So it's not like Warriors fans would never because they do. But it, I that must have been a tough situation for her with Draymond's kids for them to all hear that but why would you take them to the Boston Garden in the first place like I'm going to keep it a buck 50 the Boston Garden is notorious for having obscenities thrown at players they're notorious for that like that's Boston for you they're passionate sports fans who are not afraid to speak their mind so that's the last place I would take my kids to watch one of their parents play the Boston Garden, the NBA Finals, come on. If you've been around basketball for a couple of months, you should know that the Boston Garden is not where you go if you don't want it, your kids to hear F-bombs, any sort of curse words. That's the last place you want to take them. Next, we got just people saying Celtics are going to win in five. And we got this, Clay Thompson. We played in front of rude fans before. Dropping F-bombs with children in the court. Really classy. Good job, Boston. Again, what do these Warriors players expect? They've heard all the classic stories at the Boston Garden. What do they expect? 
I expected all this stuff to happen. I was expecting the Boston Garden to be a little harsher, to be quite frank. Like, I don't know what they were expecting. This is the boss. This is Boston for you. I don't know what they're all complaining about. Like you, you're in the NBA Finals. You got to get over. It. You got to zone out the crowd. You're getting paid hundreds. You're getting paid millions upon millions of dollars. You can't be complaining about the crowd. Play your game, and just like it sucks to be told all that stuff. But again, you're NBA players. You should expect this from Boston. And lastly, this is one tweet by just a Warriors fan. My heart says Warriors in seven, but my head says Celtics in five. Clay had a good day today, good game today, but he won't keep it up. Steph is hobbled, Draymond is unplayable, and we have no size. I genuinely don't see how we win this series, and I hate to admit it. So this Warriors fan is obviously a bandwagon, but so here, before I move on, I'm not a Warriors fan. I'm a Lonzo Ball fan. To be quite frank, I don't have a team. Whatever Lonzo Ball's, whatever team Lonzo Ball's on, I'm a fan of them. But this tweet, it's I don't know how we're gonna win the series. It's called rebounding and hitting your shots. Curry, he had a great game, uh, except for, till the very end. Clay, he had a solid game. Wiggins had a pretty good game. But I feel like to move on from the series, unless Draymond has a dramatic improvement in Game 4, you need to be playing Kevin Looney more. Kevin Looney had the first two points of the game. He was getting boards. He was playing good. Now, I get wanting to spread the court out, but with Draymond out there, they all just sat off me. So, is it really helping that much, having Draymond out there to spread out the court? No. So, if you're going to have a player like that, have Looney be in there. He's a bit taller, a bit bigger, and he can grab boards for you. That's just my opinion on it, though. Anyways, guys, Celtics in five. I still don't see it. I still have Warriors in six. Without, this is Taldega signing out. Laters.